Uh, Timmy, good start to the title defence, 500 on the beach course. Yeah, I was very happy with that. I wasn't really sure what to expect um, today. My last tournament round was, I think, Aussie PGA, second round, I shot 81. It was a bit of a nightmare, and so um, had a bit of a break after that and did some work over over Christmas and started to you know, pay off, I think. You think that time off has obviously paid dividends, a bit of rela relaxing and switching off golf and yeah, I anything but? Yeah, I seem to do it every year. Um, just over, play too many tournaments. You know, I'm really pushing, trying to get into Europe and never quite getting there, unfortunately, at the moment. But um, so I sort of burn out and then get frustrated and all that sort of stuff. And it just, all the travel as well just starts taking its toll and, you know, you end up shooting bad scores. Mm -hmm. And you know it doesn't really reflect the player that you are, but it sort of starts, you know, taking its toll on you. So this week, after a round like that, and heading to the Creek Course tomorrow, uh, must be feeling fresh and confident. Yeah, I'm just yeah very happy with the start, and obviously the Creek, and we're going to play that in the afternoon tomorrow, so it's going to be a bit tricky. But um, yeah, it's obviously pretty gettable if you hold a few putts. Big year so. last year with two wins, Demi. What do you take from that? What did you learn and what changes for this year? Um, well, I learned that I can do it, which is the most important part. And yeah, just I, I played well at the start of the year. And like I said, I played very bad towards the end. So I'm going to try and just um, make sure I'm, my scheduling's a little bit better and keep working on the right stuff and probably just stay a little bit more patient and not trying to rush things, you know. What do you think it needs? You told us you'd been on the Challenge Tour, you're surprised by the level of play there, you didn't think you were good enough, clearly you are. Uh, what yeah. did you see this year? What what does need to change to get to that next level? Um, good. That's a good question. Um, yeah, I think the, I do need to get a little bit better. Obviously my good's not too bad, but I just a bit more consistency and I think just playing well at the right time. Um, I've had, you know, I was getting late starts over there and underprepared and all that, so I could make a couple of excuses there. But yeah, I think if I just play, if you play well at the right time, it opens up the doors, and so obviously if I'm playing well more often, it's going to happen. Is it? Do you feel extra pressure turning up as defending champion, or is it more a lift? You turn up and you're up and about straight away, Timmy. Yeah, it's more the, more of a lift. Everyone, even the guy on the first tee, said, "Geez, you must be nervous because you know you're defending champion," but. I don't really see why. I was sort of probably more nervous when I hadn't won, you know, any tournaments. It's a bit more relaxing knowing that you've won a couple and, you know, you know you're capable of doing it. So it's definitely not, well, I don't think it's more pressure. Obviously, it'd be nice to defend. That's, uh, that'd be really good. But, you know, everyone starts off with the same score at the start of the week. So I've got a lot of work to do.